Polynomials are very simple functions to work with from a calculus point of view. They're simple to differentiate, simple to anti-differentiate. It's kind of a shame in that, um, from that perspective, to have to work with functions that aren't polynomials, to have to work with complicated things like sines and cosines. A major result of calculus is that you can think of sines and cosines and exponential functions and many other things as polynomials. As long as you're willing to allow those polynomials to have infinite degrees. We'll really talk about that in depth when we get to Taylor series. For now, let's just state the definition of an infinite degree polynomial. So we don't call them infinite polynomials. They get a fancy sounding name. We call them power series. But a power series is an infinite polynomial. You'll notice we start from zero here. That's to give us a constant term. X to the power of zero is one. And then after that, C sub one X plus c sub 2x squared, and so on into infinity. We have x's here, so we make the observation that a power series may converge for some values of x, but diverge for others. So the question of whether a power series converges or not isn't just a yes or no question. Rather, we have to ask what values of x a power series converges for. Before I end the video, there's this little phrase here about x equals zero that I haven't commented on. We think of power series as being defined around numbers. And we'll see why and what this means when we get to Taylor series. For now, let me just say that you can have a power series about any real number and a power series about A is just this power series with a horizontal shift put in. We have now defined power series. In the upcoming videos, we'll discuss them further, talk about doing calculus with them, 
talk about convergence, all sorts of such things.